guys, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a skincare with me, get completely on ready with me, and I'm going to show you guys what I do. So I start off with the Garnet Skin Active Soothing Cleansing Milk. I have the rose water one and all I do is I take a couple pumps in my hand. I don't recommend this by the way. And you'll see why. I rub it into my hand and then go on my face. And I can't rinse this off. I leave a weird residue on my skin. So what I do is I take my Cosmic Neo One and I go ahead and wipe that brush. And I take my cleanser, which is the honey and the real honey and soothing aloe vera cleanser that I am very low on. I take a couple of pumps of this and then I just do it. My regular clarifying way. It's going to be this old towel if you want to move on. Because I actually need this. Something else. Don't do that. I'll just post a video. Alright. I'm actually going to take a bath. So I'm going to put this near my bathtub because I'm going to need to clean this because it gets pretty bad. And the last thing that I do, and this actually does remove my face makeup and it actually has helped my skin a lot because I do bench record I'm on round two right now. And um, it kind of ruins your skin, especially my skin. I have normal to dry, very sensitive skin, so I'll get serious dry patches if I overdo it. But... I found that if I use a cleanser, a makeup cleansing balm to kind of like melt it away, and I use these Huggies Super Clean Wipes, then it kind of helps to soothe my skin a little better, especially with my Clarifonic. And I did do the baby wipe test yesterday, and... There was no makeup left on my skin, which was really nice. It was really nice feeling. I might film another video today. I don't actually know. I'm not really feeling my best.
was really into this guy the other day. Which was really good. He was really into my interview as well. So if you guys want a tutorial, then just let me know because I literally only use three shadows to create this look. And it really looks really well together. I'm really in love with those Revlon Color Charge um, pigments. I'm really in love with those. I did use my color pop to get that super lighter. Ignore my dad, I know he can be heard. Alright, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked this video. Give me a like and a subscribe if you're not already. And the comment section started talking below about your favorite makeup removing products. What do you use? And who knows, maybe I'll try it one day in the future. And what did you think of this one? I don't recommend this, but I am going to use it as I did just purchase it, but I knew right away I, was, I didn't like it as soon as I used it the first time because of the residue left on my skin. And I couldn't really rinse it off. Like, I really wanted a balm that I could just kind of put on to melt my makeup, rinse it off, and then go in with my Clarisonic. But I find that I have to go in with my Clarisonic and my facial cleanser to get that makeup remover off and the makeup off. So it kind of defeated the purpose. But I have other products I am going to be switching in and out. I'm really excited to be filming a skincare collection video. I don't know when that's going to go up, but it will. But let's just get the comment section started below talking about your favorite makeup removing products. I'll see you guys 